More than 500 supporters cheered on Lieutenant Governor Phil Scott as he made his bid for governor official. I am running for governor in 2016. He was introduced by his mom, former Governor Jim Douglas, and by Democratic Senator Dick Mazza, who says Scott works across the aisle. Being a good governor isn't about your party affiliation. It's the ability to listen, to learn, and to help and to lead. Scott echoed that sentiment. We have to acknowledge that no leader, no special interest group, and no one political party has all the answers. We must listen to each other. That's why when someone says to me, I think I have an idea that might work, I will always say, tell me more. The three-term lieutenant governor gave a fairly low-key speech, but a video shown prior told a compelling personal story. Scott, who lost his dad early, grew up in Barrie and worked all kinds of jobs to survive, and is now co-owner of a construction company, one he worked 20 years to pay off. He also races stock cars and had one on display at his kickoff. As governor, Scott says he would pull the plug on Vermont Health Connect, something he's advocated for for more than a year and he'll focus on making Vermont more affordable. If a proposal decreases the cost of living and doing business here, we will support it. If it increases costs, we will resist it. He'll veto any budget that grows faster than average wages. That message resonates very loudly with the mayor from Rutland. Spending needs to get reined in however we do it. We've got to be smarter, we've got to adapt, and uh, we need to work differently than we've been working. Most analysts say Scott enters the race as the front runner. In South Burlington, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5.